Let's go over the numerical execution of arithmetic operations with complex numbers. Addition, it is easier in rectangular mode. In this exercise, we are to add two complex numbers, but one of them is given in polar form. What I would do first is convert the first number, the one in polar, to rectangular mode. I say this is 10 cosine, that is the real part, of 53.1 degrees, and the imaginary part is j, 10 that multiplies the sine of that angle, 53.1 degrees. And to that, we are going to add 4 plus j, 2. Let's do the computation. The cosine of 53.1 degrees, that is 0 0.6, and the sine of that angle is 0 0.8. We are to add that with this number. In short, we get 6 plus j, 8, that is added with 4 plus j, 2, that is 10 plus j10, and that is the result of that addition. When working with a calculator to do operations on complex numbers, make sure that you are aware of whether you're working in degrees or in radians, and whether you're working in rectangular mode or in polar mode. Whatever mode you choose, you have to be aware of what is the way you're going to be computing in your calculator. I enter the first number, round parenthesis, 10 with an angle off, and observe how I type the angle symbol, alpha, red, 6. That is the angle symbol. And I type 53.1 degrees. I make sure that I'm in degrees. I'm here. Round parenthesis, 4, space, 2. Observe I use space to separate the real part from the imaginary part. I could have also used this comma but instead of pushing only one key space, I would push red space to get the comma. That's why I prefer space. Now with those two numbers on the stack, I add them together and get the result. The result appears to be in polar form because that is the format of the calculator right now. I just switch it over to rectangular mode and see the result in rectangular mode. 10 plus J 10. Now we go for the subtraction. It is also easier in rectangular mode. In this case, the first one is in polar form. We're going to write that in rectangular mode before doing the subtraction. 283, that multiplies the cosine of the angle, 45, plus 283, that multiplies the sine of that angle, 45 degrees, minus 2 minus J8. That is minus 2 plus J8. We execute that operation. We know that the cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2, 0.7. And we do the operation. 283, that multiplies 0 0.707. Plus, there is a J missing here. J, 283, that multiplies 0 0.707. And that we add with negative 2 plus J8, and the result is, if that is uh, 2 plus J2 with 2 plus J8, we add them together, this cancels out, and we get a pure imaginary number with a value of J10. In the calculator, we would go round parenthesis 2.83, angle sign alpha, red, 6, 45 degrees. I make sure I'm in degrees. By the way, the calculator is in rectangular mode. As soon as I type enter, it will take the number and show it in its rectangular form, but the number will continue to be what it is. See? Enter. And then the next number, round parenthesis, real part, space, imaginary part, 8, change sign, subtract, subtraction, and that is the result. Real part, zero, well, up to three digits. And imaginary part, J10, the same result. Multiplication, we do sometimes in rectangular form, sometimes in polar form. In this case, I'm going to do this in rectangular form. To obtain the real part of the product, I begin by multiplying real part times real part. Three times one, that is three. And imaginary part times imaginary part, 
so that j squared becomes a negative 1 real number. And we get negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive, negative 1, that is negative 2 times, so that is negative 8, negative 8. So the real part is going to be negative 5. And now, for the imaginary part, I multiply them like this. Real part of one with imaginary part of the other. And then we got 3 negative j4, and that is negative j3 times 4, that is 12. And for this one, would be negative j2, negative j2. The result is real part is negative 5, and the imaginary part, that is negative j14. Now we do that in the calculator. Round parentheses, 3, space, 2, change, sign, enter. That is the first factor. And now the second one. Round parentheses, 1, space, 4, change, sign. Those are the two numbers. Multiply them. And the result is, as we saw before, real part negative 5, imaginary part negative 14. This way of multiplying is particularly useful when we're using symbols instead of numbers. Let's say we multiply a plus jb with its complex conjugate a negative jb, and we want to know the results. The real part would be a squared times negative times negative 1, that is positive b squared, and then the imaginary part would be JAB minus JAB. The result is A squared plus B squared, a real number. When we multiply a complex number by its complex conjugate, what we get is this. What is this? Hmm. If we remember what we saw in class, we realize that that complex number has this real part A and has this imaginary part B. What we see here is just the square of the absolute value of the number. In cases where the multiplication includes either numbers in polar form or the final result is going to be given in polar form, we find it convenient to convert all numbers to polar form and do the multiplication in polar. That's what I'm about to do. In polar form, the first number has a magnitude that is square root of 2.5 squared plus 10 squared. That is the absolute value and has an angle and that is the arc tangent of 10 divided by 2.5. The second number, this one, has a magnitude that is square root 0.85 squared. I don't care for the negative sign in this context, right? And the angle for this number is arc tangent of 4.3 divided by negative 0.85. Here I include the sign. And once I have that, the result will have a magnitude that is the product of those two magnitudes and an angle that is the addition of those two angles. Let's write them, find the, what they are. The first number has a magnitude of 10.308 and an angle of 75.96 degrees. And the second number, this one, has a magnitude of 4.383 with an angle of 101 with 18 degrees. Now we multiply Now we multiply absolute value with absolute value, and we get 45.18, and we add the angles together, and we get 177.1 degrees, and that is the result. Now we go for division in rectangular mode. Sometimes it's convenient, especially when we're working with symbols. We multiply and divide by the complex conjugate of the denominator. The denominator becomes a real number. The result has this real part and these imaginary parts. Let's write them. 15 minus 40, that is negative 25. And this number is 9 times 16, that is 25. So this is negative 1. And this number here would be 
negative 50 divided by 25 and that would be negative j2 and that is the result of that division thank you very much